say he's dancing. He's a. One more time. He's a. Perfect. How do you say I'm young? Sahimita. One more time. Sahimita. Okay. And the word for um, I'm putting them on, talking about my shoes. How would I say I'm putting them on? Hulole. One more time. Hulole. That guy's our driver, and he won't let anybody in the car with bare feet. Otherwise, I would have bare feet. So I'm putting I'm putting on my own shoes, but I'm putting them on for him. Can I say um, e hololi? Hololi. Um, can I say e hololi? E hololi. And it wouldn't make any sense if I said e hololi. I'm not putting shoes on him. I'm putting them on me. But I'm doing it for him. Does it make any sense to say e hololi? E hololi. Perfect. Could you say that word one more time? E hololi. Oh, wonderful. Um, that word is a hard word for a lot of people. <laughs> Thomas, what's the word for jealous? Hopo. And if I wanted to say he's jealous of us, how would I say that? Sahupua. Okay. Um, I think I'll take that one. Could you say that one more time? Sahupua. Okay, that's his jealousy. Um, there's a word for stringing beads. Hotumpi. Do you know that word? For somebody stringing beads. You know, putting the needle through the hole in the bead. Hotumpi. You don't know that word? Okay, mm. um, Thomas, what's the word for armpit? Octumpy. One more time? Octumpy. Okay. <laughs> the other day, um, somebody thought I was saying that when I was trying to say this bead stringing word. <laughs> What's the word for um, somebody? Somebody's dead. He's dead. Uh, what now? He's dead. Like that rattlesnake you killed. He's dead. Illy. Yeah. One more time. Illy. Okay. And how would you say he gives it? Imali. No, you're saying I give it. I just want you to say ima. Oh, ima. One more time. Ima. Okay. And the word for somebody getting warm by the fire. Loak inni. Loak inni. One more time. Loak inni. And um, if uh, somebody's holding out this pen and somebody else just takes it, is she? Is she? Could you say that again? Is she? How would you say he <coughs> finishes eating? Impatsa. Um, can I hear that one again? Impatsa. The part in there that means um, he's finished, that's Issa. Can you say that word, Issa? Issa, Chi. Um, Chigasaw. Yeah, I guess Issa, to mm. most people, sounds like Chalco. Um... Mm. Um, can you say the word for somebody gnawing on, um, uh, something like a, a beaver gnawing on a piece of wood? Kisli? Kisli and then Hwasa? So I don't know which one to use. <laughs> I don't want the chewing one. Could you say that Kisli again? Kisli. Um, I think you're saying biting. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the word for when somebody is, is gnawing on it, you know, just, uh, yeah, the word Fanny just said. Kissy. That's it. Could you say that again? Kissy. Okay. And now we're getting to biting. Could you say the word for biting? Kissy. Okay, one more time. Kissy. And how would you tell somebody, he's biting you? Sakisily. Okay, um, could you 
say it to them, he's biting you, chikisili? Sakisili. Can we say chikisili, talking to them? Chikisili. Okay, one more time. Chikisili. Okay. And um, I think you said this word before, but there's a word for when you bite something more than once, the way a dog would bite it, kisli. Kisli. One more time. Kisli. And if you wanted to say to Fanny, oh, he's got you, he's biting you more than once, can you say chikisli? Sakisli. Um, can we say chikisli? Chikisli. One more time. Chikisli. Okay. Um, the word for whistle, what's that? When somebody's whistling? Kunta. One more time. Kunta. And if somebody is whistling and whistling, kohunta. Kohunta. One more time. Kohunta. And if you've got a dish or maybe that glass ashtray over there and somebody picks it up and they drop it and it breaks, how would you say he broke it? Skole. That's you broke it. That's fine. Could you say that again? Skole. Okay. How would I ask the question, did she break it? Shukpanetam. But I'd like to use that word coli. Iskolitam. <laughs> Would you say that one more time? Iskolitam. Did you break it? Okay. Mm-hmm. And maybe um, there's somebody who they break that ashtray and then Fanny gets her glue out and she sticks it all back together and it looks good as new and then this person comes along and he breaks it again. This very same ashtray, he breaks it again. And Fanny mends it again, and then he comes and he breaks it again. So he keeps breaking the same one. Um, I think there's a word something like koholi. Well, it says koholi. Thomas, can you put that piece of paper down so you don't have it right by your mouth? Okay, great. <laughs> um, can you, is there a word like koholi? Is koholi. Is there a word like koholi? Mm, koholi. Kohole. And if you wanted to make that word into a question, say, you know, does he keep on breaking it? Can you say something like, um, koholita or koholitum or kohontum? Kohole. Is that a question? Mm-hmm. Okay. When somebody's been drunk and they, they sober up, maybe they drink a whole lot of black coffee. How would you say he gets sober? Kostene. One more time? Kostene. Okay. And if I had um, a piece of paper here with a piece of sticky tape on the back and I stuck it up on your wall, um, the word for sticking it up there, I think, is lapachi. Lapachi. Would you say that again, please? Lapachi. Okay. And if I do it, I stick it up there. I might say la pachli or la pachli. I don't know. La pachli. Okay. One more time. La pachli. And um, somebody takes that piece of paper that I stuck up on your wall, and they take that same piece of paper and they stick it up someplace else. Maybe they stick it on your mirror, or they stick it on the back of the door, or who knows where they put it. Um, If they keep sticking it up, I think you can say something like um, la pachli. La pachli. La Ponte. Okay. Catherine told me a word for somebody dragging themselves around. Um, the word she uses for that is um, flippitly. Do you know that word? Well, I'd say shalati. Okay. Well, that's a good word, too. But I bet you know this word. Let's see if we can say it in another way so I can say it clearer. Catherine, would you mind saying perfectly? Do you know that word? That word she Do what? Lefeetli. Yeah. Lefeetli. That one's okay. Why don't you say that mm. again? Would you say that again? Lefeetli. Okay. Um, the word for something that's all worn out or ragged, flippa. Slipata. Can you just say the flippa part? Slipa. One more time? Slipa. And I know last time when we were here I talked about the word for 
hoeing. Um, could you say the word for somebody's hoeing? Minchale. Uh, that's one word for breaking up the soil, but there's also another word, lili. Liji. Um, that's plowing, I think. How about lili? A liji. Do you know the word lili? Lili. Yeah, that one. Could you say that one again? Lili. Perfect. And you remember I pretended that poor Gladys, her foot was feeling so bad, but I pretended that she was out there hoeing for you guys. I said, um, uh, Hachin Lili. Can you say that? Hachin Lili. One more time. Hachin Lili. Perfect. Okay. Um, what's the word for running? Malili. One more time. Malili. And if you wanted to say to somebody, you're running, Ishmalili. 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 And how would you say he's not running? Igmalilo. One more time. Um, and then there's another word about running. Um, Malili. Malili. Um, could you say that again? Malili. Yeah, there's another word. Malili. Malili. Yeah, that's it. Could you say that one again? Malili. And if you wanted to say to Fanny that she was doing that kind of running, there she goes, she's running, um, you might be able to say to her, Ishma lately. Ishma lately. Could you say that one more time? Ishma lately. Okay, great. And then there's another word that I think means something like still running. Um, Malili. Malili. One more time? Malili. And if you wanted to say... Um, Ishmalili. One more time. Ishmalili. Okay, perfect. How would you say um, the dog is jumping? Malli. Could you say it with the dog? Ophi Malli. Ophi Malli. One more time. Ophi Malli. Okay. How would you say he jumps and barks? Malli. Woji. Malaysia, Woody. 